What is up, my dudes? My name is Rain, and welcome to the last episode of Making Metal in FL Studio Word. Today, I'm going to show you where to distribute and how to promote your music. So, stay tuned. All right, first off, how to distribute your music. And, well, there are a few distributors that you can use. For example, CD Baby, or what I have been using for the last few years would be DistroKid. You just upload your music there and they distribute it to Spotify, TikTok, YouTube Music, Apple Music, Deezer, etc. For only, I think, like 20 bucks a year. It's like two bucks a month. So that's a really good deal. And the thing with this trickit, they say they give you 100% of the earnings. And considering that I have $193, even though my music doesn't really get that many streams, I tend to believe them. So that is pretty good as well. Now, I'm not going to show you what to put in those boxes. You can just look up a tutorial for whatever distributor you use. But there are a few things that you should consider, and that is the release date. You should probably put this like two or three weeks ahead. This way you can send your song to moderators and pitch it for a playlist. Because if your song gets playlisted, my god, the streams will just flood in like I have no idea. Sadly, this hasn't happened to me yet, but... I just wanted to put it out there. It's a thing that could happen. If you want to know how to pitch your song, there are a lot of tutorials out there that can help you with that. And the second thing you should look out for is the preview clip. Because on TikTok, for example, people can't use your entire song. They can only use like a little snippet. And you should be able to decide what snippet they're listening to. For example, you probably don't want them to listen to the intro. You probably want them to listen to the chorus or the breakdown because the chorus is very catchy or the breakdown is very brutal and interesting. I don't know, but you should probably decide what streaming services are going to present the listeners. Now, after you've uploaded your song to your distribution service, you should probably upload it on YouTube as well, because, well, it's YouTube. We'll get into it later. Another platform I'd upload to is Newgrounds. And Newgrounds is interesting because you probably won't get a lot of views even though your song might be rated very high. But if a moderator stumbles upon your song and likes it, he might put it on the front page. And that's when you're going to start seeing the big numbers. Now, for that to happen, there are two variables, I think. One is, it has to be objectively good. The mix should sound professional, to some degree. But the other variable, and I'm not going to lie here, the moderators have to like it. It's very subjective. For example, the song that I just showed you is very easy to listen to. It's kind of mainstream. It's very catchy. It has a singable chorus. But if you're going to upload something very brutal, like deathcore, The song might be really cool and a banger and it might be mixed very well, but Newgrounds is a very EDM-heavy website and the moderators are probably not exposed to this kind of music, so it's very unlikely that a niche genre like this is going to get front-paged. So, just so you know, you're probably not going to get front-paged with this kind of music. I do, however, still think that Newgrounds is very valuable, so I'll plot there anyway. Now, next website is SoundCloud, and I haven't really been that lucky with SoundCloud, which is probably because on this website people upload their beats and rappers are on here, and again, it's a very EDM-heavy website. And whenever I have people listen to my music, like Claudia Christmas, for example, it's usually just some fake account to get you to log into their promotion website and pay money. So yeah, SoundCloud doesn't really work for me. It might work for you, so just try it out and maybe you'll be lucky. Next website would be Bandcamp, and I think Bandcamp is really cool. Because on Bandcamp, people can listen to your music on a pretty decent quality, and if they like it, they can pay either 7 bucks for the album or whatever you set the price to. They can buy your whole discography, or they can just buy the single track. And when they do buy one of those things, they're going to get the uncompressed wave flag or whatever you're going to upload there. So I think it's a very cool website and it's an easy way to support you, the creator. Now, what all these websites have in common is you need to write some kind of description and put tags in. So let's go on YouTube and see what we can do. First, just put something about your song, how it came to be, what the song is about, or just write something about the song. For example, in Beyond the Stars, I just wrote, this song was made in the tutorial series How to Make Metal in FL Studio. If you'd like to see the progress of me making this, click here. And then it's just a link to the playlist. Speaking of links, people hate having to look for things. So make sure that you have 
all the links in the description that lead to your streaming services so people don't have to manually look for your name and the song and yeah at the end you can add lyrics or something else if you want to and when it comes to tags uh, it's very straightforward just enter your main genres and subgenres for example rock and metal in the case of beyond the stars also symphonic metal and maybe a little bit of progressive metal metal core and then you can just add some standard tags like screaming singing musician and then you should be good to go in the case of youtube you can also uh, choose a thumbnail and here i do something similar to what lorna shore does which is i just pick a random frame from the video here for chance and here for beyond the stars which seems to be going pretty good or you can do something like cattle decapitation and do like real proper thumbnails but now that you've uploaded your music to all those platforms how do you promote it the first platform I'd do it on would be Twitter, even though Twitter doesn't really do much, but upload it there anyway, because you can. And just put in a few hashtags and maybe add someone if they're somehow related to your song. Same on Instagram, you just post a picture of the music video or of the cover art and then you just add some hashtags, maybe add someone and then in your bio you just add the link to your YouTube spotify or whatever next up would be facebook and facebook is seriously underrated when it comes to promotion first just share the music video on your page and when people listen to it they might share it on their site as well but more importantly search for groups for certain subgenres, for musicians or a fandom if your song is about them and then post your song on those groups because you can get a lot of views through that way it's kind of similar to Reddit, where you look for subreddits that might be relevant to your song. For example, if you make a symphonic metal song, you might want to go on the symphonic metal subreddit and post your song there. You can also post it on like normal subreddits like musician, musicians, metal covers. Promote your stuff, promote your music, headbang to this. It's a very fast and easy way to get people to listen to your stuff. And I see you can share your video on discord groups or whatsapp groups and put it in your status and when all that is done you can start making short videos like youtube shorts reels or tiktoks because those will get even more people to listen to your songs and then just watch your song grow in the case of my video chance about 12 percent of the views came from external sites the video currently has 1000 views, so that's almost 120 people. And like I said, Facebook is seriously underrated. Almost 50% of those 12% came from Facebook. So that's almost 50 people that watched the music video just from Facebook. So I would seriously recommend to consider uploading on Facebook as well. Now, if you want to go the extra mile, you can message people that have a Spotify playlist and ask them, hey, could you listen to my song and put it on your playlist? You can ask people that write blogs or news articles to write about you. Or if you're really desperate, you can pay someone on Fiverr to write about you. Or look for a manager or something like that. And then yeah, once you've done all of that, you just sit back and relax. But yeah, one tip I can give you is do not underestimate promotion. There are up to 100,000 songs uploaded every day day and there are a lot of good ones out there so it's no longer about just making a good song it's also about promoting it in fact these days it's pretty even it's as important to promote your song as just making the song itself so please do not give up and just keep pushing it and maybe you will get to a thousand views who knows but anyway this journey ends for me right here at least for this current song beyond the stars Maybe I might remaster this tutorial series at some point with a new song, who knows. But for now, I thank you very much for watching. I hope this tutorial series could help you one way or another. And yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.